Hey guys, good to see you again. Sitting here is another XT-286, and the reason I say another is because this is not the one that you've seen before on this channel. This is a different one that I picked up because it had in it the Intel above board expanded memory card, and as you can see, it has one megabyte of memory installed, room for another megabyte. Um, I don't have chips for this at this point. Sometime maybe we'll get some chips and, and expand this to a full two megabytes. Um, but this card is going in the XT286 you've seen on this channel before. Um, this computer uh, has a working hard drive and it's the um, Seagate ST225 MFM Type 2 that comes in all the XT286s and it is, like I said, it works. It had DOS 3.3 install on it. Um, I put this 3.5 inch floppy drive in. Uh, right now I've got this hooked up to my 5154 monitor, um, but this computer actually has a CGA card in it. So the proper monitor for this would be a 5153, but I don't have one. So we're going with the 5154 that I have for now just to run this, and that works fine. Um, eventually I'd like to get a 5153 to run on this machine. Um, so in any case, like I said, it has DOS 3.3, and what I wanted to do was upgrade to DOS 5, just because why not? So I picked this up, it's uh, brand new sealed, so we'll unbox this, install it on this machine, and um, have some fun. Okay, so let's get this thing open. First of all, check out this price sticker. Um, it's from the Egghead, and this would have been a physical store. I remember when Egghead had stores, and they were great. I loved them. Anyway, 80 bucks. Yeah. So, Microsoft has been charging a lot for its operating systems for quite some time. Okay, let's get this open there. I kind of want to keep that price sticker. Oh look, it just fell right off. So, good deal. I can keep that quite quite easily now. Not having to keep any of this retro plastic. Okie dokie. Now, we have... Yeah, this box is a little beat up. But, um, you know, what can you expect? been sitting around somewhere for 30 years. Well, probably not that long. Not 30 years. Alright, so we have this nice cardboard insert. And here's the discs. There we go. There's the discs. And this has a nice tear, tear open here. Perforated Thing that just kind of crumbled in my hands. Yeah, this plastic has deteriorated over time. It's very brittle. And we've got little plastic bits all over the place. Okay, so there's that. And six discs. And here's a registration card, um, the Microsoft $25,000 giveaway. Return this registration card and you could win. I'm sure that contest is long, long gone. Alright. Get your free issue today of Inside DOS. No longer published, I'm sure. Let's see, let's put some of this stuff here so you guys can see it. Oh, look at that. A little coaching never hurt. Online help. I wonder what they mean by online. Okay, here we've got the uh, copyright 1991. Oh, what in the world? Oh, it's a poster. <laughs> Take the MS-DOS 5 five minute workout. Get the most out of MS DOS operating system version 5 with these five easy exercises. 
Uh, first, we've got a new MS DOS shell. First, put on something cool. Type DOS shell from the C prompt. Then stretch out. Give yourself some room. Stretch your PC's memory on a 286 or 386. We can load DOS into extended memory. Okay, well, I just took the extended memory out of this computer, but whatever. Do some jumping. We have a task swapper in the MS-DOS shell. Pick up the pace. You can use edit now. I think uh, DOS 5 was the first version they put edit in. Format old disks faster with the slash Q command. 80% faster. Um, undelete, unformat. You can relax even if you have a habit of deleting critical files. First, type mirror slash TC or enter and into your auto exec bat. Take a snapshot of your C drive, then go ahead and delete readme text from the DOS directory. Before you panic, undelete it. Just type undelete readme text. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I wonder how much how much hard drive space that takes up. All right, and then online help is type help there for coaching on the dir command. So it's basically help built in. Um, yeah, online means with your computer on, you can get help. So here's the getting started manual. Good stuff. And here's the main manual. User's guide and reference. An important note to MS-DOS users. The hologram on the spine of this manual is your assurance that it's genuine. Check it out. Alright, let's get this plastic off here. Oof! There we go. Yeah, this is great. There we had recovering deleted files, unformatting a, good, unformatting a disk, creating a macro. Yeah, this is cool. Um, good stuff. Another thing, and I think I kind of skipped over this, but um, yeah, it says here MS DOS 5 now has QBasic replacing GW Basic. Now, let's get this installed on that system. Okay, this one in the drive. All right, setup is determining my system configuration. Welcome to setup. Setup upgrades original MS, the original files, blah blah blah. Uh, you need a disk, possibly two. Um, you have to have them in, use them in drive A. Okay. Sounds good. Use a network, blah blah blah. All right. Use a network. No. Um, backup hard disks. What does that involve? Okay, if you have only one floppy drive, otherwise, okay, press center. Yep. Calculating number of disks. Three 1.4 megabyte disks. All right. Back up one. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, I had installed some games and whatnot on here, so. Probably good to back it up. Please select the proper format. I'm gonna format this disc. Uh, do you wanna use this format for the radio? Yes.
Okay, all hard disks have been backed up to continue setup. Press enter. Then insert the setup disk labeled disk one into drive A. So that backup probably wasn't necessary for this uh, for this um, you know operation, but I wanted to show you know what it would have been like in back in the day. Okay, this information is correct. All right, we're ready to upgrade to DOS five. Here we go. Okay, label a floppy disk, uninstall one, insert into drive A. Let's hope it only needs one, because right now I only have one empty five and a quarter inch disk. I can make another one if I need to, I guess, but... Okay, we want MS-DOS 5, disk 1... Love the sound of those old Seagate hard drives. so they stay in order. All right, ready for disc four.
All right, and ready for the last disc. Setup is now complete. Remove any floppy disks from your drives and press enter to start MS-DOS version 5. Please note your original autoexec dat and config sys were saved as autoexec dat and config dat on the uninstall disk. And I had this set up so that I could slow down the processor if I needed to for some of the games that were on here. Look at that. I missed DOS version 5. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned. Or, how does that work these days? Um, keep your eyes open for more videos on this channel in the future. I know there's been a long space between the last one and this one, and I'm hoping to to uh, produce a few more here without many, many months going by in between. Anyway, thanks again, and I hope you have a great day.